Hey, folks, Brian Blessing coming to you from Las Vegas. Always thrilled to be with you at bangthebook.com. Listen to the sports betting podcast with our good pal, Adam Burke. He's got you covered with great baseball information throughout the summer months, and I'll join him on special events and footballs right around the corner. You can follow me on Twitter at Brian Blessing. We're talking about this week's PGA Tour stop, and for the 72nd year in a row, it's going to be played at Colonial. This is a great course uh, in Texas, and I think there's some defined wagering opportunities that are on the board for us here in the Charles Schwab Classic. They'll be going for that fancy plaid jacket. The one trend uh, that's in play on this course, 7,200 yards in length, is that older players and guys that have experience in this tournament on this course are the guys that have fared well. Justin Rose, he's the defending champ. He's on the board at 10-1, to 1, and you got to look long and hard at him every time he tees it up. But I think there's some defined price plays in here. John Rahm's on the board at 12-1. to 1. Fowler's playing. He's 12-1. to 1. Jordan Spieth, 12-1. to 1. Hey, he looked a lot better at Beth Page Black, but is he completely back? I don't think so. Of course, in Texas, he'll have raucous fan support. Xander Shoffley shows up. Uh, on the board at 16 to 1, another great young player. But isn't it amazing? And this is what we talk about when we do these videos is you want to identify guys before the cat's out of the bag. I mean, you used to get Shoffley at 40 to 1. Now you're getting him at 16 to 1 in PGA Tour stops and in the 20 to 25 to 1 range for majors. Hey, Francisco Molinari's playing as well. He's on the board at 16 to 1. But some of these veteran players, uh, you got a Paul Casey, age 41. He's on the board at 20 to 1. Uh, I'll tell you, there are a couple of guys that I'm looking long and hard at here. And first and foremost is Ian Poulter. I think Poulter is a real danger in this event. And you're looking at him on the board at 30 to 1. Don't forget, Poulter won in Houston last year, and that was able to get him uh, into. The Masters, and that was like the last kick at the can. So he plays well in Texas. He's played many, many years on this course. But the thing is, Ian Poulter is now a different player than he was the previous two years. His confidence is soaring. He's in contention all the time. This is the kind of event where I think Ian Poulter steps up to the plate. You still get a nice price, 30-1. to 1. I mean, I had him in Houston last year at 80-1 to 1 when the er, tournament started. And then came back after he shot a 63 on Friday, but was still four shots back. Got him again at 60 to 1. So he's comfortable in his own skin down in Texas. But I think the sneaky play, and, you know, I don't think this is uh, anything that's going to shock anybody, is Ryan Palmer is on the board at 60 to 1. Well, don't forget, he was a winner uh, in the team event in New Orleans. So Palmer's playing some really, really good golf. The bottom line is he is a member at Colonial. How big an edge is that? We always try to find guys that play on their home courses. Frankly, I'm a little bit surprised it's such an overlaid price on Palmer. And by the way, he's one of these guys, when he gets hot, he is a birdie machine. Uh, he can go low. And I think the, the heat's off. He gets the tour, tour exemption now with that team win in New Orleans. He's playing with house money, and he's playing on a course he knows well and he plays well on. So I think price hunting for me is the way to go in this event. My top two plays are going to be Ian Poulter and Ryan Palmer. As we're post-major, post-PGA, Brooks kept another great event. But this condensed schedule has really been a treat. Moving the PGA up, U.S. Open's going to be here before you know it. I'm already, everybody's going to be all over Brooks Kepka. I'm all over Dustin Johnson for the U.S. Open. But that's what lies ahead. Right now, we're focused on Colonial, the Charles Schwab Championship. We're going with Poulter and Palmer in this week's event. Always glad to be with you at bangthebook.com. From Las Vegas, I'm Brian Blessing.